A teacher's union rep admits he hit a student and got away with it. His words caught on hidden camera. Now he's in the hot seat. Good evening. I'm Elizabeth Cook. And I'm Ken Bassita. New at 5, KPIX 5's Emily Turner is live at the San Francisco Middle School where that man used to teach. Emily? Ken, he taught here from 2007 until 2014. So for those seven years, he was in a classroom. He hasn't been in a classroom since. But what he says happened while he was in one is shocking. I can see gravity kid. Uh, I can see it's hard to get up into a locker. Mm -hmm. I've never done that. Yeah. But, um, okay, once, but not twice. That is Antonio Mankini, a math, science, and technology teacher on leave from teaching at James Lick Middle School to serve as the staff organizer and treasurer of United Educators San Francisco, the union representing all of San Francisco's educators. How does a man who has leanings like this, who's done these kinds of things, make it into the upper ranks of a union that represents teachers? So I can only speak to the comments on the video, uh, you know, that. Uh, when we do our full investigation, if, if it's determined that they are uh, accurate, that, you know, then we'll take action if necessary. This undercover video was shot by a group called Project Veritas. The years-long investigation looks into several teachers' unions nationally, but this conversation with Mankini is the centerpiece of its video. I mean, I closed the kid in class one time, you know, and, and of course I was pretending I, I was pointing, and the kids, and the kids saw the, the kid went down. He goes on to advise the person recording the video, who he thinks is a teacher, that, quote, elbows are awesome weapons, too. And he explains the threats that he made to students when he was in the classroom. I mean, teachers have smacked kids before, and um, sometimes they're still working. The video came out this morning, and Mankini's union has since put him on administrative leave and launched an investigation into the video's contents. Even taken out of context, what he says is shocking. So what do you say to the parents who maybe had their kids in his class? We're going to get to the bottom of it. We are deeply committed to student safety, and we'll do uh, act as swiftly as we can once we have the full information. <laughs> And we did talk to the San Francisco Unified School District. They did not go on camera for a statement, but they did send us a statement. And it says, quote, we have grave concerns about the behavior Mr. Mankini references and encourage any former students, staff, or family members who may have experienced mistreatment from Mr. Mankini or any other district employee to report their concerns immediately. Well, it sounds like uh, Mr. Mankini uh, speaks about several different instances. Uh, we don't know how many for sure, but does he have any disciplinary history with the union or the school district? Has he ever been disciplined before? We asked the union that question. They said not to their knowledge. Now, as far as the school district is concerned, the school district didn't ask any of my, er, excuse me, did not answer any of my questions. They also didn't return my phone calls. I have, however, requested his personnel file to see if there is any disciplinary action in that. Of course, we're waiting to hear back from SFUSD. Ken? All right, Emily, thank you for that. Uh, Project Veritas has gone after more high profile targets in the past. This year, he claimed to have hundreds of hours of secret recordings from inside the CNN network. In 2009, it went after the community group Acorn, posing as a pimp and questioning staffers about operating a brothel and evading taxes. It's also targeted NPR and Planned Parenthood.